YouTube, we're with the uh, home 25cc home light blower go pad, homemade go pad project. And I walked out here after having a race off with Fast Suzuki. Uh, by the way, the stats on that is mine hits consistently 20 miles an hour. His consistently can hit 26. Mine has a heck of a lot more low end power, low end torque, acceleration, whatever the heck you want to call it, than his. Um, his is a 20, 18 or 20 inch wheel. Mine is definitely a 12.5 inch wheel. So that wheel is really the reason because if you don't know anything about gear ratios, that limits my top speed but helps my acceler. Is that right? Yes, it is by a lot. But anyway, here we go. Um, so I came out here and was doing a Nova video for Hypercritical 1 and my darn flat tire was flat. And I don't know why. I know it was getting awful thin. As you can see, the bands are just starting to show. But I thought I would do a video mainly for Fast Suzuki so he could see it. I can't believe it went flat. It was holding air when I left. I haven't even rode it. Oh well, we'll pump it up. That's what we'll do. We'll pump it up and see how long it lasts. If it lasts like a week, heck, it's gonna I'm gonna leave it there till I pop the back tire. Hopeful future tripod. But if it lasts like a day or two, I'll probably wait till he comes over or something and do it because I'm getting really lazy with this thing. I would like to super mod it though, being water cooled head, uh, expansion pipe. Because although that is a racing muffler, that is not a true expansion pipe. A true expansion pipe is much louder and much more awesome than this. Or e. So let us pump up this front tire and see what the heck's going on. I normally don't do. Oh, it fell over. Oh, if you broke my anything, I'm gonna. I don't know who I'll kill, but I'll be mad. Nope, that thing's still good. Didn't break that. Didn't bend that. Cause the engine sits off to the side, and that's the thing that it slams all its weight on. What I honestly need to do is cut my kickstand down some more. What it is though, when the tire gets flat, it uh, the kickstand doesn't isn't positioned right, and so it doesn't work. But if you kick it down, now it works. Okay. Probably never gonna find the attachment unless it's sitting right there. Gosh, I need a tripod. Don't you guys agree that I need? A so I can do this sort of stuff on camera because now I'm having to sit it down, install my head, set the air compressor to about 60 PSI, more or less, give or take 20. But um, yeah, I hope to fix that tripod problem within before school starts. If not, I'll do it eventually, just like everything else. Ow. That just kind of impaled me. I love uh, Craftsman Tools or sear, seal, Sears and Roebuck, whatever the heck you want to call them at this point. Why is that not going on? Sorry, i got to sit down the camera again. There we go. But I got one defaulty head here. Boy, that thing doesn't work with a plug nickel. Alright, so it looks like I am going to have to pump it up from this side, which is okay. Darn it, if you pop off again, I swear I'll kill you. Alright. See what we get out of this if we'll hold air. That isn't working too well. See, look, the engine does pivot. I've not been lying to you guys. Wasn't very good. Losing air. Now I'm losing it from the back. See, look, it's just horrible design. They only use three balls in there, the little check balls that hold this thing together. It's just truly a despicable design. They should at least use four balls like this one. Um, what I'm talking about, by the way, if you're not familiar with air compressors and these quick connects, there's not, it's not in that end. Those ones are the sealed kind. They have these little check balls that kind of lock them in. Do I have any that are out in the open? I know my steam engine has one on it. Oh well, I can show you on this. They have these check balls. 
See? Little balls that move in and out. This one has three, and most everyone I've seen has at least four, all the way up to eight. And what it does is it fits in that groove there once you let them go so the thing doesn't fly back out. But three balls is not enough. It needs, I would say, at least five. But I've not been very impressed. That hose, actually, from this Craftsman air compressor, we had to return the hose because the hose split at only about 100 PSI, but they gave us a hose that was much, much nicer than the hose that came with it. The hose that came with it was that thick PVC, you know, it wasn't real flexible, kinked really easily. This is nicer, much more flexible, but it's just that little ball at the end, and I, I bought some to replace it with, but I'm out of Teflon tape, and need to do that. Oh, and I broke my fan. So, oh, look, it's already going flat. Okay, so that confirms my suspicion that my go pet hates me and that it's probably going to fall over again, actually. That my go pet hates me and it wants a new front back, mm, wants a new tire. If anyone, by the way, knows of a 12 inch solid tube so, you know, they have the solid tubes for the 26s and the solid tubes for the 18s and the 20s. If anyone knows one for a 12, this is either a 12 or a 12.5, PM me or comment or rate, subscribe, do whatever the heck you want. But let me know because I, I really want one for this because that happens. And if it gets a little nick take out of it, eh, what's the big deal? But I'm fed up with it because it's making me mad. I'm going to go back to looking at tripods on the internet. Oh, one more quick thing, though. I was trash picking, and I got this thing. Now i got to turn my lights back on. Uh, all my videos are random today. Anyone know what it is? Let me know. You got a shaft. This is steel. Not too strong. Goes into what appears to be a gearbox. Has a nice set of bearings and here's the output shaft so if I spin this it spins the output shaft in here so I don't know what that is I really wish I had the gear in the other half I wonder how thick that grease is I'm gonna regret doing this ugh nasty oh look at that I'll spray some degreaser in there and let it eat my grease that's nasty. But anyway, yeah, if anyone knows what that might be off of, I'm just curious. There's no markings on it. Purple power. Let it do its magic. Eat that up. But, uh, yeah, if anyone knows what this might be, let me know. Intrigued to see. <coughs> oh, sorry, chemicals. Um, yeah, but I'll check you guys later. I just thought I would do a... Oh, uh, update on this thing that now has another flat tire. This thing has eaten more tires than it sucks down gas.